13,000 public primary schools of both English and French subsystem of education in Cameroon will in the days ahead be distributed about 4 million textbooks worth 7.5 billion French CFA ahead of the 2020-2021 academic year that begins on October 5. The announcement was made by the Minister of Basic Education, Laurent Sech Etoundingua, during a press briefing on Monday, September 28. It is the result of a partnership agreement between the Government of Cameroon and the World Bank, which falls in the framework to support programme to the reform of education in Cameroon. It is aimed at facilitating access to school manuals to pupils of nearly 13,000 public primary schools nationwide amid the deadly coronavirus pandemic, which has crippled many homes financially. Speaking at the press briefing, Minister Laurent Seche Tundingua said that thanks to the free distribution operation, each pupil from the identified schools will be given three textbooks. Some of these books to be distributed include Champion en Français, Inclusive English, Avomat for Pupils of French Expressions and Parlons Français, Winners, Winners in Mathematics, Chaprons le Français, among others for those of the English subsystem of education. The distribution protest kick starts tomorrow, Wednesday, September 30. It will go on for the two next academic years to come, that is 2021 to 2022 and 2022 to 2023 for pupils of class 3 and class 5 respectively. Fire has partly destroyed a mattress factory in Jeru municipality located in central Ugandan district of Wiki. APA learned on Monday, according to police spokesperson Ellen Bututo, the fire was first noticed at 9 a.m. on Monday when it had really grown out of control. Eyewitnesses accounts suggest that half of the structure housing the mattress factor has been raised to the ground incurring losses in running into millions of shillings. The incident comes barely a week after a fire outbreak destroyed the main building at Makerere University. Butoto said Monday's fire incident is being investigated by the police. President Uhuru Kenyatta on Monday announced the extension by another 60 days, a nationwide curfew in a bid to stem the tide of the coronavirus outbreak in Kenya. In an address to the Kenyan nation, President Kenyatta said the extended will last until November. Under a presidential directive, the revised curfew hours will be from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. The ban prohibiting the sales of alcohol in bars will be lifted as from Tuesday. While bars are allowed to open, they will be closed at 10 p.m. daily. According to a new regulations, Kenya currently has 38,115 cases and 691 deaths from COVID-19.